top ten. Everyone's all excited for the new Super Smash Bros. I myself am more than just hyped for the game. But before Smash comes out, I've been working non-stop on our completionist review of Hyrule Warriors. Which, by the way, that game is 200 plus hours worth of long completionist goodness. That review will be next week. In the meantime, let's get back on the topic of Super Smash Bros. One of the best things about Brawl, despite how much everyone hates it, was the introduction of the Smash Ball. The Smash Ball has become such a love-hate item that changes the tide of battle so quickly. The game becomes eye candy, a visual barrage of nostalgia, as well as destruction. So to get us all pumped for Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U, here's my part one of the top ten final smashes in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Part two will come out when the 3DS slash Wii U version does, and we'll address the new final smashes as well. Number 10! I put the Landmaster Final Smash from Fox, Falco, and Wolf on the very bottom of this list because I appreciate what it does, but this one actually kind of bothers me a lot. This Smash is the one that, after releasing, everyone in the room lets out a large collective sigh. I like the idea of taking up the whole screen, the barrel rolling, and the firing of the cannon, but what drives me crazy is that flying off the screen death. That's always the one thing I hate about this Smash the most. But I gotta give it props. It's very cool. It's too unfair. It's unfair. Number nine. If we were talking about super cheap, unfair Final Smashes, this one takes the cake. Sonic's Final Smash features him grabbing the seven Chaos Emeralds, yelling, NOW I'LL SHOW YOU, and becomes Super Sonic. He can then wipe out all the characters on the screen. Yes, this Smash is broken, yes, it's unfair, and yes, everyone hates it, but... I love the animation. I love Sonic grabbing all seven Chaos Emeralds instantly, a feat that usually requires an entire Sonic game to be played in full. It's perfect for Sonic's character and what he does best. Unfortunately, if you have my skills, Sonic is too fast and will just blast off the screen almost instantly. Three, two, one, go! The winner is... Mr. Game and Watch! Number eight. I've never owned a Game & Watch, but I did have a lot of those Tiger handheld toys, so I have a vicarious relationship with Game & Watch, and I can't help but laugh when Mr. Game & Watch turns into a gigantic octopus. There's something so derpy and cute about the octopus, I just want to fall into its evil clutches. Almost as much as you want to fall into the bacon? Fall into it! Fall into it! Fall into the bacon! Number Sim. Kirby has always been one of those characters that I haven't really explored or gotten into. I've only played one Kirby game, and that's Kirby's Dream Land. You all saw that review. Hopefully. One or two of you. I see those hands. In any case, King DDD as a villain is really funny. His duck beak, his big belly and large hammer always made me realize that a villain is allowed to be just as silly as our hero sometimes. And his final smash is evidence of this. Take a look. It's not the most practical Final Smash, depending on the stage, but I can't help but dance every time I hear that music. The end. Since we're on the topic of dancing, Donkey Kong's Final Smash is one of my favorites, but it's also one of the hardest to pull off. Unlike most Final Smashes, this one requires you to hit the button to the beat. The better you are at it, the bigger the area of effect is. This, while fun, is also somewhat frustrating if you're not the most rhythmically attuned person. Not only is it an audio cue, but it's also a visual cue that you need to hit on the button whenever DK's hands hit the drum as opposed to just spamming it. Yeah, if you don't nail that one, you just look like a fool. A big, foolish monkey fool. No more fur! Maybe I'm a bit biased, but I really love Donkey Kong 64. I love the rap, the collectibles, again, another game we reviewed here on the show, and it's one of my favorites. Diddy Kong's Final Smash pays direct tribute to the game, featuring Diddy Kong shooting his peanut gun all over the place while blasting all around his jetpack. I'm really bad at controlling Diddy during it, but that's the point. I do have a blast seeing it every time, though. 
Space Attack Monkey! Number Quattro! The one thing I love most about Pokemon, even more than the games, is the anime. I don't know why, as cheesy as it is, the anime really captured my imagination at a young age. And with the Pokemon Trainer, the fact that we can control three different Pokemon is really cool. Hmm, you must be kinda bummed that Ivysaur and Squirtle are actually cut from the new Smash, huh? I am excited that Charizard is still around, but I gotta admit, I am kinda bummed. That's okay, because this final Smash is really great. The starters all team up and blast the screen with their unique skills while featuring the It's Super Effective screen from the game, a hilarious rendition. Especially when it fails. It's super effective not. Three! Captain Falcon has always been my go-to guy when I want to just have a good time. All of his Falcon attacks are so gratifying when they connect. I love his voice as well. Just hearing Falcon Punch, followed by the smack and its sweet chin music. What? The Falcon Final Smash is also the same thing. Captain Falcon summons his F-Zero ship, the Blue Falcon, to take out your opponents and take them to the F-Zero tracks. It then features the Blue Falcon traveling at high speeds to run everyone down. Alrighty, so I have to admit this, Samus is my main, Samus, Samus, I don't care how you pronounce it. I love her, and I love how she handles. Why don't you marry her? And her final smash is so perfect. Taking up the entirety of the screen, a gigantic beam starts out small and slowly becomes ridiculously large. And you can move it too, depending on how your enemies try to run. Now I have to admit, in the original Brawl, I was pretty bummed that you lose the suit, but thank god they fixed it in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. The ultimate number one! Alright, I'm just going to show it. It's weird! It makes no sense! It does different effects to different characters! It plays some stereotypical Middle Eastern music! And Luigi's poke does way too much damage! It makes no sense and it's just all crazy and you know what? I f love it! It's too funny to not unleash this! Luigi's reputation in the Smash games has been entertaining as he's just been spiraling out of control into the bizarre land that Luigi dwells in. You know what? I feel like Luigi is slowly turning into me. Now I just need a mustache, and be a plumber, and stereotypically Italian. Yeah. And there you guys have it, my favorite Final Smashes from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Put your thoughts somewhere on the internet on what your top 10 are. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, all that stuff. Any and all reasons, let me know. We'll see you guys next week for our brand new review of Hyrule Warriors, the day that it comes out. It's gonna be exciting. Now if you excuse me, let's watch King DDD dance. Watch his dance. That's the, that's my impression of it. It's not very good. Everyone's all excited for the new Super Smash Bros. I myself am more than hyped for this game. But before Smash comes out, there is seriously one motorcycle guy who is just driving around the goddamn block. 